so here you go guys so here are the art supplies you can see on my art table yes so we are going to use black marker pen you can use any kind of black marker pen and I want you to draw six inch by six inch square uh, on your paper inside where we are going to draw and we need a graphite pencil and if you have the white charcoal pencil that is absolutely optional for the glazing at the very end and we might draw some guidelines before we start so we need a regular pencil and a stump or the q-tip for the blending that's all so now we'll first start with the graphite pencil and as I'm showing you, this is a six inch by six inch square on a printer paper. You can absolutely draw on a printer paper. There's no problem in that. But if you want to make one some piece which you really want to keep or gift to someone or to frame. So you can use any this kind of artist style. They are already pre-cut in a six inch by six inch size and they are very good for the pattern drawing and for the meditative art. And I'm going to use one of the tile that is already a pre-cut into a six inch by six inch sheet. Okay. So before I start, let me show you what we are going to draw today. All you must have seen, uh, all you must have seen the picture of this drawing. Can I see if my okay so this is the one which we are going to draw today I tried to keep it a little simple today because uh, this is the first time we are drawing on the YouTube as well as when we drew the last pattern in our twitch we did 21 sessions in twitch freeze and doodling sessions if you want at the end I'll show you all those 21 designs if you want to see the recordings of those sessions they are still available on twitch and so some of my uh, followers asked me to keep it a little simple this time. So I tried to keep my pattern a little simple, but it's still, I find it a little attractive. Let's see how you like it. So let's start drawing. Is everybody ready to draw along with me? Okay. So please grab your pencil. okay please grab your pencil and very first thing we are going to draw the spiral we are using a pencil not a pen guys because we are going to draw the guideline first for the spiral so as you see this is not in the center this is towards the left hand side so please find find this spot kind of towards the left hand side of your sheet here and we are going to draw this is spiral this is small as you start and it becomes wider as you go out and it and it becomes wider 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 like that we are drawing with a pencil and it is just a guideline if you mess up a little bit you can erase and fix it so that's not a problem and if you have any questions, write in the chat. As Ankita told you, she's on the chat. She's gonna tell me and I'm give you, I'll give you the reply back or she's gonna write it. So. <laughs> okay, so I'm not sure about the basketball game that they might write you later. So I'm just like kind of erasing a little bit here and making this little wider. Okay. And maybe a little bit more circular here. Like that, yes. Okay. Do we have another session on Thursday on YouTube? Yes, Avni. We have another session on Thursday and on that session we are going to do 3D lettering of Happy Father's Day. So now we are good with our spiral. 
if you all are set with your spiral now I'm changing my pen and I'm grabbing my micron pen 08 and the tip size is 0 0.5 guys okay so for the very center I'm just going to draw one small circle now I'm focusing more to the spiral so that you can see it clearly Then draw one more spiral like this I mean the circle not the concentric at one side so like it's growing at one side okay now we are going to work in threes what do you mean by the threes we are going to draw three petal and then we are going to draw a one uh, first we are going to draw these three petals then this black one okay okay I'm waiting take your time take your time I'm waiting Aww. hi Jimisha Okay, so now as you see our spiral is starting here okay so we are going to draw three petals here so one two and three so we keep growing our petals in the spiral way start from the very inside where you draw the circle So after the three petals, we are going to draw one big petal that is going little outside guys, okay? Which we are going to fill it with black. So if you have the white jelly roll pen, you can fill this whole black and later on you can use white jelly roll pen to give these highlights. But if you don't have white jelly roll pen, you can leave the space right now, like don't fill the hole fill the space right now at some place like that to give it a highlight now again our next spirals are small not that big again three petals is small and the fourth one will go little again outside so I'm again leaving some area for the highlight and as you are seeing some pencil lines inside we'll erase them later on when our ink is dried very well okay guys so don't worry if you want you keep rotating your paper and keep filling exactly the same way that is the fun of the Zen doodling or the pattern drawing that we keep repeating the pattern again and again and we, when we keep repeating the pattern again and again it gives you the meditative feel and it, you feel better and you enjoy your art more because uh, that's how it happens one two three it gives relaxation to your mind actually that is the reason now I'm leaving this space for the highlight so that's how we keep creating our this snail we keep rotating our paper so that uh, we one and you can keep increasing the size of the petal as you keep growing your snail because the size width is increasing please write down in the chat if you guys want me to wait 
uh, to change my speed of drawing fast or slow or if you have any questions about the pen about the paper about the steps and if you are not drawing along with me right now you can just enjoy watching me and you can draw you can draw later and this session will be available on my youtube channel and for everyone every single time so if you like these kind of session don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the notification bell so if you hit the notification bell you know whenever i go live you'll get that uh, notification that nithi prakash is live and you can join me so sometimes if you miss any of the uh, any of our discord discussion you can get me you, you'll be notified through the youtube channel shall i wait okay i'm waiting i'm waiting take your time as you see i kept my pen here i'm waiting for you thank you thank you amni and art so in so like you know it's a very early stage and just keep working uh, and uh, i must say in zen doodling you never go wrong if you are enjoying your process then you will get a beautiful result so don't worry okay so now i'm resuming again i'm making this big here and i'm leaving the spot for the highlight this one and then again three sessions again three petals oh my god what i'm saying and after again three petals we are going to make one little big petal which is like kind of overlapping it and just fill that petal take your time don't be hurry don't go outside of the petal leave some space inside the petal as a highlight can you um, tell where the schedule on discord is posted it's in schedule i suppose in the schedule channel in discord it's there and if not then i'll definitely look into it uh, after this session okay and uh, we'll update in the general chat if is there any difference so after every three petals we are drawing one of this little overlapping petal with some shine in it then again so don't worry about the guidelines of this pencil guys because we are going to erase it later okay this is just to keep us staying in uh, our all these petals aligned and keep our spiral in a shape that's why oh it is fun i'm i'm happy that you are enjoying this this is really a fun enjoying drawing and that is the fun with zen doodling you know i got submissions from us from a 70 year old 70 plus people as well as from a five year old kid and everyone is enjoying that's the fun of this artwork and no judgment please you know when you are doing anything creating your original artwork there is no judgment it it is good it is good and if you mess up don't worry just make it a part of your work okay and if you mess up any place and if you feel really terrible oh my god i made 
terrible mistake so don't worry that's the learning path okay so that's how we grow so never get afraid or like be sad for your messing up things the best part is that you are trying you are drawing you are using your time creatively you are on learning path so just have fun and enjoy and feel good So keep increasing your petal size. So guys, when you join me next Thursday, probably on tu on this subs on the same place YouTube, when we are going to do this Happy Father's Day, don't forget to bring your colors, maybe your markers, color pencils, or whatever you have, and you can get any card stock of the white paper so that you can make on the top of it and you can turn it like fold it in a card and use it. Or if you just want to draw on a plain sheet of paper, that is also absolutely fine. lettering is also very interesting we are about to reach to our this is nails now I'm taking it here and this top one this is our last one which I am making a little bigger because this is our last one and if you want you can use a thick tip pen guys okay to fill this one I'm not changing it now but generally I change my pen and I use a thick tip pen that saves time and you can fill it quicker get your lines neat and clean when you are making especially when you are filling don't go out from the line and if you go a little bit just try to cover that up and increase your shape so that it won't look like you are going out it looks like shape is of that size here you go while filling take care that you don't see any height spots in your black filling you won't get that shine if you see a lot of white spots in your black fillings so that's all yay so we are done with the spiral now so I'm waiting for 30 seconds for everybody to catch up it would be great if you guys write in the chat that you guys are done. I'm not sure we get poll in this or not the way we got in the... Ankita, do we have polls in this chat? No? Okay, we don't have polls guys. But I'm just waiting for you guys to write down in the chat. So, then it would be great. Thank you, Lekhya. I'm waiting for 30 more seconds take your time I don't have any other version for this one uh, Barbara but I can suggest you like this is kind of the if you want to like uh, make it similar to any scene it's kind of the ocean scene you can consider them kind of waves or maybe the corals or like kind of snail tentacles so uh, or some ocean bed so maybe you can use some colors based on that theme or whatever color comes to your mind so 
yeah but i don't have any other version to show you as of now right oh that's great mega okay so we are going to erase the lines later let's draw our other few lines on this top right section okay guys so right now first i want you to draw this shell row which is going in this direction okay guys so nice i can't wait to see your submissions especially mega years so guys look here around kind of this corner where my finger is i'm going to start from here and i'm going to draw on this kind of wait can you wait for 15 minutes e 15 minutes is way too much and you know this is free for everyone you can see this video later it's not like you can see this video so this is not only for the subscribers only so what i suggest you continue whatever you are doing and then you can go back and then you can restart later so this time i would like you to continue don't uh, because you know it's not good to wait 15 minutes uh, it's not good for everyone yes so uh, you know uh, Parmeshwara Vajrala, uh, you can uh, go back in this video. So you can go back in this video and restart after 10 minutes, before 10 minutes kind of, and then you can catch up quickly, if that makes sense. Oh, is it laggy for you, Nicole? I'm sorry. Uh, that's why we are still trying both, both the, uh, both the, these twitch and the youtube we are still trying both of the platforms let's see so now after this we are going to go to the other direction like kind of the mid of this and the same petal the sound comes before the video oh really the video screen is like two minutes late okay so my sound is reaching them earlier than the video this is what they're writing okay the video screen is like two minutes late okay if you guys want you can refresh your uh, browser maybe or your app i'm not sure if that helps so after i hope you all are done drawing this pattern one one petal at each side so now i'm starting from this bottom one so now we are going to draw two two petals at each side okay so one and two and try to make them curvy as you are going inside so now here this will come so we will stop and we'll go here so that's kind of shell we are drawing here okay i'm waiting rashmi i'm waiting for 30 seconds i'm waiting uh, you guys to catch up Till then I'm using my this precision eraser and I'm erasing these lines so that you guys can catch up with me to this level. guys want to know the link of any kind of material which I am using 
I you can check either on the discord or you can write here I'll uh, I'll send the link of all the materials which I am using I will upload in the description of the same video later if you want to draw the petal on the other side. So we are going to draw two two petals and we'll stop at we when we reach here. Okay. So don't don't draw over the design. Just cut your design when it is overlapping. Then only you will get a beautiful look. I'm drawing very slow so that you guys can see my strokes clearly. So we are done with our one these twisted shells. <laughs> you can't song request. That's true. That's true. But uh, generally, you know, we are doing our all these spiral sessions on Twitch. So every single night, nine o'clock, you can do that that time. Okay, so now after that we are going to draw all the tentacles as like we are done erasing and this now this is all good line. So for the tentacles look carefully we are going to draw a lot of lines which are, which are kind of coming out from our this shell and they can be very flowy and very organic going any side wherever you feel like just let them go and little overlapping makes them more organic and realistic look like that and they are looking pretty much filled now this area now I'm going to work on their edges so on their edges we are just going to draw these kind of petals and in these petals also if you want you can leave some space for the uh, highlights and if you have uh, you messed up with time no problem you can restart anytime but you know sometimes you feel like you messed up but when you keep continue drawing you might not find that that big so I really don't know I can't see your work so I don't really know how to help you that time uh, just keep going that's my suggestion yes If you have white jelly roll pen you can fill this whole petal as now and then put that white jelly roll pen over later uh, mostly yes Avni and you will get all the details on discord but uh, as of now mostly yes if we don't find any other difficulties so we will definitely do here the Thursday sessions on YouTube this is what we are thinking but you never know
Great, isn't it looking good? This is a very organic design and just don't just compare your pattern, exactly my pattern, let it flow, let it grow anywhere where it's going and believe me it will look nice because there are no rules and regulations for these kind of pattern, just let them be. Awesome, thank you Hasini. Okay, now two more lines here and then we'll work on this bottom part. So from here near this top, shall I wait on or shall I go ahead? Go ahead, okay. So please look carefully because if you just see once how we are going to draw this one, so then exactly we are going to draw the other line on the other side. So this is a spiral at right side. Then over the spiral we are going to, okay, I'm waiting. I'm waiting and as you can see, I'm really waiting. So you take your time, no problem. I'm just keeping it up so that you guys can see. And if you have any thinner tip pen than this, then please bring it or keep it with you because we might draw some very tiny spirals in this center section of these twisted shells. So we can use that. If you don't have the thinner tip pen, absolutely fine. You can use the same pen and instead of a spiral, you can just make dots or any other thing. So yeah, that's what. Till then, I'm just finding my thinner tip pen. Here you go. And if you guys like drawing these kind of pattern drawing, you can check on my YouTube channel. There is a playlist that's called Daily Dose of Art. And I think there are kind of 100 more than 100 plus videos of these kind of patterns so you guys can see that and draw these kind of patterns and but whatever you are drawing on the live sessions with me they are not there as of now but they will go there later but like you are going to see this one on my youtube channel in that list later can you so. show the final product yes this is the final product which we are going to draw we are already done with this shell, spire, snail. We are already done with these tentacles kind of thing. We are already done with this twisted shell row. Now we are going to draw these wavy twisted lines. Okay. Cannot hear properly. It's echoing. Okay. Let's check what's happening here. Uh, I can hear properly. Oh, some of them, some of you are hearing clearly. So maybe you can refresh or maybe you can use the earbuds. Sometimes that helps. Now we are working on these spiral, one spiral. Two spiral and we are going to start on the top of the spiral and you can flow this spiral line wherever you feel like you want to take it like it depends on the space whatever space you are left with so decide accordingly okay guys because there is no hard and fast rule to draw exactly the same place where I'm drawing oh uh -huh, now we're money So after this, we are going to draw their inner line. Now look carefully, we are going to start here and we are going to join near this spiral. We are going to start from here and we are going to give the double line in the spirals.
we are going to draw <laughs> you're welcome so now we are going to draw one more spiral this specific design is like you know uh, when uh, we are keeping the name of this so we were uh, like in we were finalized like thinking about two different names either like something related with the spirals only like spirals spirals everywhere kind of thing and maybe like you see in the ocean bed and when everything is like lying down and there is so calm and cool so that tranquility so yeah but this specific design is all based on lots of spirals so here on youtube i see my lot of uh, twitch followers subscribers their real name maybe and that uh, because your twitch name was a little different so the same thing we are going to do double line inside these spirals now guys i'm going to draw the small spirals lots of spirals in this pattern in these all the patterns so i'm changing my pen and i'm grabbing another pen that the thin, thinnest uh, the tip is thinner than this one so if you guys want you can change your pen otherwise you can use the same pen that's absolutely no problem in that and we are just filling these with lots of spirals you can see all the spirals inside these little center sections so that's why yeah amanya next yes but you know when you uh, submit your work in google shared folder then your name lekhya bella i see your name at that place so but i'm seeing your picture now so now i'm just focusing more here if you want you can see Hey Rashmi, you are Adi Shri Diksha. Okay, I don't know. Because I know Adi Shri Diksha in Twitch, but I was not sure that Rashmi is that. So keep drawing spirals, guys. If you have thinner pen, then please change. and if you think that you can't draw a spiral in such a small area with the thick tip so you guys can just draw the dots i have no problem okay that is a little variation you can do try to draw the spirals when lines are not touching to each other so that you can actually see the spiral like to keep this shell line prettier what tip pens are you using right now i'm using 005 and the tip size is 0.2 mm okay ankita you can please write down 0.2 mm tip So like when you buy this kind of set you know so they come this is the smallest tip one 0.2 mm one so this is the one which i'm using if you can see this whole set so i just bought my new set yesterday so 
that's why it's there because you know I put these pen set in my Amazon uh, Amazon every month subscription list subscribe and save one so because I'm using them so much and I don't believe in refilling so now I'm working in this one Keep making spirals. Okay guys, we are done till here and now it's time to work on this base area. Yes, it looks so majestic. That's the perfect word. Thank you guys that you like my all pattern, you know. Uh, this is my 22nd pattern with you guys and uh, mostly I got all the good feedback and I'm having you guys in every single session that's why these sessions are you know they are keep going 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 and I'm able to I'm able to draw and able to like composite new patterns so now please grab your pencil because we need some guidelines yes I'm waiting guys I'm waiting for everyone please grab your pencils again because we need to draw some guidelines for our base drawing. Okay. Okay, I'm with. Yes, this is the final artwork. Uh, you can draw with pencil now, Priya, and later on you can use your pen to trace it over if you don't have pen right now. Or uh, otherwise, like you can use uh, any kind of pen. You know, if you don't have the black marker pen, you can use any other color marker pen. Or if you have any gel pen, you can use any gel pen. So don't like. Don't stop working. Whatever stuff you have, just keep drawing. That's my suggestion. Okay, guys. Shall I start? Pen size is 3. Okay, so 3 is a pretty thick tip. I know that. So, but, but you can go ahead. At least you have something to do, right? Okay, so now... Okay, so now it's the time to draw the wavy lines in the bottom. So look here, we are going to draw first wavy line like it's going up. And if you draw the imaginary line, it's coming down. Then it's going up, down, up, down. Kind of that kind of wavy line. So this is the kind of wavy line which we can draw. I'm just erasing it and I'm taking everything little up guys, okay? So I'm just erasing all and I'm taking all these wavy lines little up. Because they are coming way too low so that's what I'm not liking it about. And that is the good part for the guidelines right we can fix it that's why we are drawing the guidelines so i'm just taking it little this up 
this up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Yes, this much, okay? So, now I have good blocks to draw the sections. Okay, Adidas guys. Said, so, yes. Adidas said my petals are too thin. Should she do something? which petals you are talking about if you're talking about these petals so that doesn't matter don't draw the spiral just put the dots so that or if you're talking about these lines wavy lines in between i don't know or which petals you are talking about aditi so please tell me when you guys are done drawing this uh this pattern on the bottom, the guidelines I mean. Mika said my spiral is straight on the side. That's fine. It's okay. You can just make the sidelines little thicker to bring it little outside. But it's okay. No problem. You can add some other patterns over it like kind of it's hiding over that pattern. Like you can make this kind of one more line here. In my actual one you see there here is one more line here in the end but th there is no line in this one i'm not drawing because i'm not left with any space maybe if i want i can add later here one but then I, but that i'll decide at very last after the shading and everything okay so now now there is one more guideline after that we are going to erase wherever they are joining you know where these lines are joining so ju just erase that part okay guys so wherever they are joining we are going to draw the spirals at these places and you can use the same pen don't use the thin pen for that use the little thicker pen for here so I'm using this thick pen and I'm drawing the spiral here. And try to draw the closed spiral here. Don't leave it open. That's it. Maybe one spiral little showing here. So I'm done with all the spirals. Oh, by the way, I finally got a phone. Yay! Congratulations! You got a phone, still you are joining the session and you are spending your time creatively. That's very good of you now we are drawing tracing our these pencil lines where we drew so if any other patterns is coming over in between just leave that don't draw over the pattern anytime let them be organic don't bother about the shape is going little up or down because that is actually we want let it be of any different shape let all them look little different from each other so as you see in this original one I got these three sections and here I got two sections so if I want I can draw here in the bottom but I don't want I'm gonna fill this with these spirals so I'm just keeping two if you have more space you can draw the three lines guys okay so just decide at your place where do I send you 
you have need the regarding subscription so aditi if you are talking ankita can you please write down about that okay <laughs> that's cool abni that uh, so i hope you guys are all done till here shall i go ahead and wait for you guys please write down in the chat if you are done done drawing this till this level with all the spirals and the markings so then i'll resume yeah okay awesome so now i'm using my normal pen which i used in all the pattern and i'm just starting drawing the lines and filling all these so here is a tip start the center line first that's kind of the straightish shall i wait okay i'm waiting i'm waiting for one more minute take your time and then we are going to fill what is the time now it's 12 o'clock we have enough time No problem take your time guys <laughs> You know when I I got my first one when I was 21 guys Okay. So now start from the center line and as you see the top line is little curvy so we keep making our lines little curvy as we are going little up so that it looks like kind of matching up with our boundary that is kind of the contour line and don't worry if lines are little touching little wider or closer that is actually we want We don't really want all lines very very parallel. We want very wavy, fluid and organic lines. So just let it be. Enjoy drawing and filling the lines. Just take care of the direction. That is what I want. So take care of the direction, but don't worry about the uh lines spacing. Rather keep them little wavy and flowy at some places. not very straightish if you want to make your this pattern more intricate you can use a thinner tip pen and you can make these lines kind of double double the size like if i made the 10 lines you can make 15 or 20 lines with a thinner tip pen and then it will look absolutely different the way it is looking right now do we have character drawing today uh, i'm sorry i don't have character drawing maybe next fathers day uh, with the fathers day one if i get time then we will do but i would suggest whoever is drawing fathers day with me uh, keep your color pens okay keep your color markers whatever you have so Yeah because in this hand lettering this color markers are really important because we are making kind of the greeting card so I really want to complete the whole filling your lines if you see lot of space you can go ahead and draw one more line and but still we want all the diff, diff, like the difference between the lines should not be very parallel we want it to be really organic 
so just let them be wherever they are drawing that is the requirement for this pattern okay and then only it will look prettier slow down okay I'm slowing down I'm waiting I'm waiting for 30 more seconds and then I'll resume okay take your time catch up okay so now I'm resuming back and this is exactly the same way we are filling the first the top half and then the bottom half and we keep contouring our lines so that we can fill the space with lots of wavy parallelish line So in some of the pattern we really want very parallel line and but uh, not in this one in this one we really looking for very organic distance and little wavyish line Okay, so <laughs> oh, Nicole Stanley's Wolf Pack Coley, awesome. <laughs> now, in this bottom area, in the leftover area, we are going to draw lots of spirals. Okay, so for these spirals I'm again using the same pen which I used for these spirals little thicker and I'm going to fill over this area with the spirals and let them be let them place them uh, pl place them anywhere like try to just fill the area that's it don't put them in lines or something like that Try to make them different size so that they won't make any geometrical kind of they don't give you the geometrical kind of feeling so we want to avoid that feeling so that geometrical thing lines kind of so try to make them little big or small little overlapped but don't draw overlap like just stop there and draw again that is what I mean Oh, I need to fill this area right with the lines although it is very small but still project said he filled the down area also with the wavy lines is yeah that okay? that's that's okay that's absolutely fine that was also my mind that I could have done that so but I was thinking like any of the option and both options are good so guys we are done drawing now it's time to do the shading so for the shading we want graphite pencil I'm here using my ebony pencil as you all know for the shading we'll first start shading inside the shell near let me just erase few more lines I'm seeing here so if you guys 
still have any lines in your guidelines you can see anywhere please erase that because now we are shading so before the shading it's nice if you erase all the pencil lines or the guidelines I mean which are not useful now okay and now it's time for the shading so i'm starting from this big one so that you guys can see how do you shade with color like with the color if you are using the red color shell so use the red color pencil and then do the shading that is my suggestion for the colors so now here near the shell joining near this joining so lay down the graphite near that line and this is a precision kind of blending or the shading so i would suggest you to use the stumps the blending stumps if you have if you don't have then you can use the q-tip no problem the only problem with the q-tip is that it might bring to the other side so that is the only thing and if it brings you can use the eraser to clean that area again because working with graphite is little is very forgiving and very easy because you can erase it anytime it's not pen that if you end up messing so you can't fix it you can fix it easily if you're working with the graphite and even like in the graphite eraser is a very big part in in our lot of project in our graphite skill based classes we make lot of projects that are just based on the eraser we spread around lot of graphite powder and we make beautiful layer of the graphite powder and then we use different different kinds of erasers to get different kind of effects so yeah in the graphite skill based classes gra eraser is uh, very beautiful tool to get some specific textures or specific designs and patterns here you go so I'm done done laying down graphite in this big shell now I'm working in these twisted small one For these kind of precision uh, blending, you know, gray marker pens are also very ideal because they won't smudge and they stay at the place wherever you put them. So gray marker pen is also a very nice uh, way of blending in these kind of artwork when you don't really want to want that, you want to get rid of that smudge thing now the last thing about these graphites so you see wherever our these spirals are so just near the spiral please lay down the graphite little bit like that at each side Megha is saying she has some extra space in the paper, so what should she do? So Megha, it would be great if you tell me which side of the paper you are talking about, right, left, top or the bottom, so that I can give you some suggestions. And 
I'm going to lay down a little bit of graphite outside here where these tentacles are coming okay guys she said left and bottom before waves okay so on the left as I showed you mine this one you can make one more wave here like the way you made two waves so left hand side you can do or in the bottom you can make these you can make instead of these two two lines you can make these three lines that's what I told you in the beginning so in the bottom you can make these kind of lines one more and in the left you can make these kind of like the spiral line and that's how you can fill the space I hope that helps people are also saying extra space on the right side so right side if you have a space keep growing your pattern you know maybe you can make this one two times if you have a lot of space okay but like because these pattern is going with this design so you can use these patterns as many times guys you can make this one row exactly here and it will look pretty so like you have this twisted shell row here so you can draw one more twisted shell row here and it will look nice so you can use these pattern as many times just to fill your area okay and now it's time to use your use to blend them so first I'm going to blend on these spiral these uh, I mean these twisted shells row so these kind of uh, Blending stems are really very good when you need the precision blending when you don't want to stay away from the place Because you can't control much when you are using the q-tip Because the, the tip is little, little thick and you can't control over the area It has a pointed tip So you know that it won't go out but still it will blend because it's a compressed paper coil so look it's looking nice right now we are going to use this the same thing in our these this big shell and let me start from here so that you guys can see clearly and as you start blending you can see that magic it makes it 3 dish looking right So guys whoever is here with me don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the notification bell so that whenever I go live and whenever I upload any of the daily dose of art or any art uh, video you guys will be notified and you guys can check that out and yeah that way you can help me growing my channel too so thanks in advance And when you guys are done don't forget to write down in the chat that how do you like this uh, composition is it easy or is it the difficulty level I mean the easy medium or tough so because here is no pole so if you write that will really help me to decide my next pattern kind of like how you are finding this pattern or any other suggestions or any other of your feelings if you want to share with me please write down how you like this one how you like this whole session as now I'm blending this area where these tentacles are going
Here you go. If you think a lot of things coming. Okay, so now we are working on these waves kind of thing. And in these, we are just going at one side, like kind of this, so then it will look prettier. Will not come back. Like we are not going back, doing back and forth. We are just doing flicking from one side in these waves. Ranjani is asking, can we get a recording of this anywhere? Yes, yes. The recording of this whole session will be available on my YouTube channel as one of the live videos. There are three or four live videos as of now. So, but this is the real live video when I'm drawing. Rest of the two, three, we were just showing the re-recording of my other videos. So, you can see that on, and I'll add this to my playlist, Daily Dose of Art. If I can, I'll see. I think I can add this live video to that playlist. I'll try and you can see there. I think this will be my 117th daily dose of art video. If I can add this to that playlist. Okay, guys, I still have a lot of graphite on my stump. So I'm going to go over these spirals and i'm just giving little shadow inside of these spirals here you go and same as in these spirals just in the center part okay to give it little one don't fill the whole spiral just stay in the center and give it a very soft look that really makes change and now there is one final thing and that is very optional so uh, this is the glazing i'm using a white charcoal pencil and the brand of this pencil is generals it is available everywhere in all uh, art place and if you want you can check out the link of this in my in the twitch also amazon basket or in my discord also and if you want, I'll put the link in this YouTube channel too later in the material list. So you see where in the center part, which we really want to bring it up in these. So I'm just going to go over here in the center and I just want to give a little glazing in the center part and you can see it will bring this area a little up. I'm sure you can make out in this video also because as a person, it really makes difference. Can you guys make it out in the video? This glazing, any changing after this glazing? Oh. Okay, sorry guys. So, yeah, that's all. And who is going to write? What's the last thing we do? <laughs> what is the last thing we do when we are done uh, with our whole project? We are done drawing all the whole project. Sign and date, yes. So I'm signing here and what is today's date? Today is, what is today's date? Fourth. So six, four. Here you go and we are done. Thank you Latiga. And 
now it's time you can praise your artwork because you did good like the way i'm saying good job nidhi prakash you can call out your name good job and your name and you can pat your shoulder and you can smile and take your work and praise and that's all for now today are you guys playing basketball ankita okay so ankita is starting the basketball game now she is trying so if you guys want to join uh the basketball game you are supposed to join okay everyone i'm going to start the game but it's a very there is a very long lag between stream avatars and the youtube so you can try to start the you can try to join the game and play it but i'm not sure if there's going to be i'm not sure if you'll even be able to play Yeah, so the game just started without any of us in it, so there's a super long lag. So we can't play the game today, so I'm sending it back over to my mom to end it for today. So, I think, I'm sorry guys, you can't play basketball now, because you know, as you know, we are still trying on different platform. This is the first time we were live on this youtube like the way we are doing today so uh, yeah maybe next time better luck we'll try to understand more about this uh, youtube platform how it works with our this obs stream and maybe you can play basketball i'm sorry for today but maybe tonight while the spiral art you can play okay so we'll try our best to play tonight with the spiral art and see you guys. Bye-bye.